you know, I was on debate team in, uh, in high school, so probably winning the Wake Forest tournament, I think it was my senior year, was my most memorable debate moment. But like, in terms of watching other people debate, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is, um, is probably Marco Rubio and Chris Christie in that New Hampshire debate in 2016. Uh, Chris Christie really took Rubio to task for recycling his statements on Obama. That was a good zinger. So here's the bottom line. This notion that Barack Obama doesn't know what he's doing is just not there true. There it is. He knows exactly what he's doing. There it is, the memorized 25 second speech. He, well, that's the, that's there the it is, reason everybody. why this campaign is so important. Because that's kind of a classic debate moment where someone underperformed and I think it cost them quite a bit. I think that my favorite, most memorable debate moment has to be the Rick Perry oops moment. Rick Perry had to come up with three agencies that he wanted to get rid of if he was president. It's three agencies of government when I get there that are gone. Commerce, education, and the, um, uh, what's the third one there? Let's see. <laughs> I mean, it's cringeworthy television. It was dramatic. But you, no can't, doubt about but you that. can't name the third one? The third agency of government, yeah. I would I would do away with the education, uh, the uh, <laughs> I, 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 commerce, and let's see, I can't. The third one, I can't. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. It really sank his career, actually, which I guess shows you the power of these debates. Um, it was just comedic, although I guess you can't really say it sank his career because he runs a, a department. Um, but anyway, oops. Well, my favorite debate moment, uh, does it have to come from a primary debate? Uh, if not, then it comes from the 1988 vice presidential debate where Lloyd Benson stared down Dan Quayle and said, I served with Jack Kennedy. I knew Jack Kennedy. Jack Kennedy was a friend of mine. Senator, you're no Jack Kennedy. Epic burn. So in 2008, Democrat debates, uh, Joe Biden was still in the race, and Biden was really not doing well. It was basically a three-person race between Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and John Edwards. And Biden was on stage, and at the time, I think Rudy Giuliani was the front runner in the GOP race, and Biden had just an all-time classic line. I mean, think about it. Rudy Giuliani, there's, th there's only three things he mentioned in a sentence, a noun and a verb and 9-11. I mean, there's nothing else. For me, the most memorable primary debate ever came in early March of 2016. Essentially, Marco Rubio decided that the way that he was going to gain traction in that Republican primary was by stooping to Donald Trump's level of personal attacks. The subject of his attack were Donald Trump's hands. He suggested during the debate that Donald Trump had small hands. Of course, Donald Trump responded, Look at those hands. Are they small hands? And he referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee you. And so in March of 2016, Donald Trump defended the size of his penis in front of a national audience on the debate stage. My most memorable debate moment is when Ben Carson didn't come out right away when he was called. <laughs> and it created sort of a pile up, and then Trump got confused and was just standing there for a while, and it was sort of a comedy of errors. And that whole thing was funny, but the best part is you can see the stage manager peek out and be like, go, go, the whole time. That was my favorite moment. Hey folks, I predict that you're gonna either subscribe to our YouTube channel or watch some related videos, or both. Um, you can do both, but you can't do neither, so either subscribe or watch more videos.